I stand here tonight disappointed but not surprised. Over 25 years ago, my mother and father came to this country with dreams to fulfill the promise of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. But you see, our oldest document, the Constitution, for those that aren't aware, has been amended 27 times in our 244-year history. These laws, updated to protect our democracy and to better reflect the changes in our society, continue to be challenged, especially by those in this room. As Americans, we can openly debate these issues, call out injustices, and do so in the public arena for our community to see. But to keep it simple, Mr. Vanderwood must resign. I, like many others in this room, condemn his actions. On behalf of the Democracy Coalition, a collective of voting rights and democracy advocates dedicated to promoting transparency, accountability, and ethical governance, we are writing to address a serious matter concerning Kent Vanderwood, mayor of Wyoming. On July 18th, the Michigan Attorney General's Office announced charges against Mayor Vanderwood and 15 other individuals for the alleged role in the fake electric scheme following the 2020 presidential election. Mayor Vanderwood is currently charged with eight felonies, including conspiracy to commit forgery and election law forgery, among other serious crimes. The allegations raise serious concerns about Mayor Vanderwood's ability to fulfill his duties in a manner that upholds the values and principles an elected official should abide by. We recognize the crucial role that the city council plays in shaping the future of our elections and it is imperative to uphold the highest standards of accountability and ethical conduct. The Council can reinforce public trust and ensure the continued progress of free and fair elections by demonstrating a commitment to addressing the issues transparently and responsibly. While we recognize the presumption of innocence until proven guilty, the pending criminal charges are extremely serious. We firmly believe that it is in the best interest of the city you serve or Mr. Vanderwood to resign from his position. Y para la gente de nuestra comunidad de España hablantes, es muy simple entender que por la gente no tiene confianza en nuestro gobierno. Debemos ser capaces de tener fe en nuestros financieros electos, creer que harán un buen trabajo y elegir unas personas de buena fe, pero que Vanderwood es lo contrario de esas cosas. Estos supuestos intentos fallidos de sabotaje van en contra de la voluntad del pueblo y silencia a los votantes. Esto es inaceptable. Nuestro mayor debe ser un administrador confiable de nuestra democracia. 